Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another haul for you and I'm going to go through this one relatively quickly. So if there is anything that you guys want to see in a tutorial or a review, let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to get started with some clothing, which I do not typically do. So I'm really excited to kind of share with you what I've really been loving. So if you guys don't know, I recently got a new job a couple of months ago at Cotton On Body. So that basically means that I've become kind of like a a gym wear junkie um, which really is quite new to me and I kind of like it so I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite sports bras yes my favorite sports bras we think to show you guys but I think that you guys will enjoy them and if you do get your hands on them I recommend you just getting every single color because they are amazing so typically with sports bras when you have bigger boobies like I do um, they can be kind of uncomfortable and a little bit unflattering so when it comes to a sports bra I really really need to find a good one that is going to be either really supportive and kind of cute you know how it is like you just want to look a little bit cute when you go to the gym when you work out you just feel better when you have cuter gym wear so I found these these are amazing so these are $19.95 each um, I've only got three colors at the moment they don't have a huge color selection but I'm gonna get every single color so this is a wonderful sports bra this is just the basic color that I have it is a beautiful dark gray shade and what's so great about it is that it has a zipper on the front it also has this weird bra clip thing um, also in the zip as well so it's kind of stitched into the side if you can see that and that hooks onto the other side so if this thing is coming undone your girls are not gonna be flying out it's quite flattering and it does have a razor back to it as well now size wise typically if you've got bigger boobs like I do typically with bras little bit of over-the-top news or a little bit too much uh, news but I do typically wear about a double D or so when it comes to bras so usually with sports bras I like to go a little bit bigger and I do wear a size large to fit these bad boys in there and they fit quite well so I've really been liking that also just wanted to show you guys the colors that I have I bought two other colors and they are this really nice bright orange kind of coral shade really pretty I think it's very pretty and the one that I've been wearing the most is this color so it's kind of like a mint green shade it is beautiful it looks a bit blue on camera but it's mint green so I just wanted to kind of share with you what they look like they do have slight padding on them as well so it's not going to be showing so they are really nice and again they're about $20 each which I'm more than happy to pay for because they are beautiful very comfortable quite supportive and um, I mean they're cute so you just can't go wrong with that so that's all of the random stuff that I wanted to get out of the way I will jump straight into cosmetics and I will show you guys um, I'll go on with uh, Mecca Cosmetica and oh sorry Mecca Maxima I go to sorry also David Jones and Mac and that kind of stuff so I will start off with my Mecca Maxima purchases. I've only got two things while I was in there and they are both lip products. I've become quite a lip junkie recently and I got two slightly purple shade lip products. One that I'm wearing on my lips right now is the Too Faced Melted. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this thing. It's just disgusting how much I love it so much. It is just disturbing. So this particular color is in the color Melted Violet. It has a doe foot applicator, very pigmented as you can see. Let's just pop a little bit more on because you can never have too much, right? Love it. Very pigmented, very long wearing. I absolutely love it and I will definitely be getting more shades of those. Second uh, kind of purple shade product that I ended up getting was from Smashbox. These literally only just went on the stand when I went in the store. So this is one of their newer products and this is a lip lacquer and this is in the color, what color is it in? A lilac. So it's a really nice light purple shade. It is absolutely beautiful. It has a doe foot applicator. Um, this is just really, really nice. They're very pigmented as well. So it's a beautiful light pink slightly purple shade and I'm quite a fan of these. I think these retail for around $28 or $29 I think it is. Um, but yeah, beautiful stuff and I would highly recommend. Moving straight on to David Jones, I ended up getting one Christmas set from Laura Messier, if that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not too sure. So this is one of their Christmas sets and this retails for around $55. This is the Caviar Stick set. They have some beautiful shades. Really, really love these. I've never tried the Caviar Sticks ever and I will definitely be getting more of these because these are the shit. These are amazing. So you end up getting six shades. Now I've ended up using two of them already in a tutorial. So I ended up using Cocoa, which is the darkest chocolate brown shade with 
pretty much no shimmer in it. And then I also ended up using rose gold, which is a really, really nice champagne-y, rosy color. Obviously, rose gold. Ofs. Um... I've already used those two in a tutorial, in my formal tutorial, which I'll link down below. But you also end up getting a couple more shades. These are stunning. They set really quickly. They don't crease. They're amazing. You've got some really nice neutral shades, some really beautiful um, kind of like goldy shades. You've got khaki. You've got amethyst, which is kind of like, it's almost like a taupey purpley shade. And then you've also got things like moonlight, which is stunning. I can't get enough of these. These are beautiful and if you can get your hands on the Christmas set, I do highly recommend it. Again, they retail for around $55. So really good stuff. I do recommend those and they just I just can't get enough of them. You will be seeing them in tutorials. A um, couple things that I got from MAC, I ended up getting one sample because I was after a MAC foundation, but I know that a lot of people complain about it breaking them out and I didn't want to be <laughs> buying a foundation that retails for around $50 and it breaks me out. So I ended up getting a sample of it just to be safe. I've worn it twice. I love it. This is the Max Studio Sculpt. Yeah, Studio 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 Sculpt Foundation and I use the color NW20 and I'm quite a fan. I can imagine that I will be picking it up as well. So I got that. And also I ended up losing my favorite lipstick from MAC and that is in the color Snob. Snob is like my favorite color um, of all of them. That and Cream Cup, they really have my heart. I just can't go wrong with it. So if you haven't seen Snob before, that's what it looks like. It is a really nice light pink and it is beautiful. Beautiful. It is a satin finish, so it's a little bit more comfortable than a matte finish and a little bit more long wearing than a cream sheen. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. I really love it. It's a beautiful shade. And obviously, if you haven't seen it or tried it, I honestly, I encourage you, I encourage you to go get it because it's just amazing. So yeah, love this. And of course, I had to repurchase it when I lost it. So loving that. Um, and then a couple more affordable products. I'm moving right on to Target and Kmart. So we ended up getting a couple of NYX products and NYX I have been quite a fan of for a while now. Ever since we've had access in it in Target, I've really been loving it. Like really been loving it. Like that's the crazy eye coming out. Like I love it. So you know it's serious business when the crazy eye comes out. So I ended up getting this and this was in my formal tutorial as well. This is the NYX Roll on shimmer uh, glitter shimmer in the color walnut. I have this on my eyeballs to dye if you can see it. It's beautiful. It's a taupey kind of brown, kind of purple, a bit of everything mixed in one tube and it gives you the most beautiful color. I'll see if you can see it. It just is stunning. I love it so much. I just can't even deal. Can't even deal. So you can see what that looks like on the eyelid if you watch my formal tutorial, which like I said, I'll link it down below. So yeah, love that. And then two more NYX products that I ended up getting was a lipstick. This is one of their matte lipsticks. I'm still on the fence about this shade, uh, or sorry, about this formula. Um, it's really, really comfortable to wear, but I find that sometimes it wears off a little bit patchy. So um, I typically have to wear a lip gloss on top of it, which isn't a bad thing. But the color is stunning. This is in the color Summer Breeze and it is fabulous. So this is a intense body shade. This is a straight up body body. This is a body shade. Um, it is beautiful and I really do love the color but of course I find it does wear off a little bit patchy so I do need to wear a lip gloss on top of it but that is okay. We make it work. So yeah love that and also something that I've recently fallen in love with um, is their cream blushes. Like who knew NYX did amazing cream blushes. I just got lipstick all over my tights. Great. So the color that I ended up getting was in Boho Chic, and this is stunning. <sighs> I'm just in love. So it's kind of like Max Snob in a blush. Yes, I'm gonna go there. I love it. I think it is beautiful, and I will definitely be picking up more of these. I find that they don't make my foundation or my powder go patchy if I apply it on top of it. And I find that it applies beautifully with a brush or with fingers. So I really do like that. And with me, with normal to combination skin, I find that it typically does last majority of the day. Of course, if it's scorching hot outside, like it has been the last couple of weeks, then of course it's going to wear off a little bit quicker. But besides that, I really do like it. And I would 
I would really, really recommend them. Like, I'm recommending a lot of stuff to you guys today, like all good stuff. So moving right along to e.l.f., of course, another very affordable brand. This is a blush that I picked up, and I have it on my cheeks today. It's very subtle, but it's very pretty. So it has a precious mirror on there, and this is in the color Twinkle Pink. It is kind of like Nars Orgasm, but not as intense. So it's kind of like that beautiful peachy pink with a lot of uh, gold shimmer in it. Can't deal. Can't deal. I love it. It's beautiful, and you guys need to try it if you haven't tried it already. I think they're like, what, like $8 or something in Kmart? I think it's just beyond me. So another e.l.f. product that I ended up getting is the Mineral Face Primer. This, I don't know how I feel about it yet. This is in Radiant Glow, which is kind of like a gold tone, but it has shimmer in it, which I was not aware of at the time because it kind of has like frost as the packaging so you can't really see it so just be wary that it does have shimmer in it it does look really nice under a foundation but I think I'm just gonna have to mix it in with foundation to make it even more wearable so not too bad it's around $12 in Kmart um, so not badly priced and you do get quite a bit of product in there so um, I'm not gonna complain I'm gonna make it work I will make it work so yeah we'll see how we go with this I love the pump I love the packaging but yeah still on the fence but I will make it work you've just got to make it work if you want it to work so it's gonna work I'm gonna make it work so the last thing that I ended up getting from Target was a Chi Chi product and I am really not that um, I'm really not that knowledgeable of Chi Chi products I have a couple of Chi Chi products in my collection but I really want to expand on it a little bit more because they seem really good so I ended up getting the dramatic lip lacquer in the color stylus and this is a really nice very pigmented like let's just see this right did you guys see that I'm gonna zoom through these next couple of products which is from Priceline so we ended up getting two things from models prefer first being the mineral powder soft touch in the color soft focus holy shit this product is amazing so I ended up getting this because apparently it's a dupe for the ambient lighting powders and I quite like it and if I like this then I'm willing to spurge on that so this just gives you a really nice kind of like oh my I don't even know it just like blurs everything so yeah, if you haven't tried this, you need to try it. It's around $16.99 or $17. I think that's about right. So I ended up getting that from the 40% off sale. Also included in the sale was this palette. Is this not cheeky? Like this looks like the Over to Kong Naked 2 palette. I'm just saying. But um, really not bad for a $10 palette that went down to about $6. This is the Shadows palette by uh, Models Prefer. I believe there's a limited edition. So definitely get your hands on it if you haven't got it already. Colors are quite nice, not overly pigmented, but not bad for ten dollars. You can't really complain. So they're quite, uh, quite warm toned. They're really nice. I'm really, I'm a really big fan. Uh, I've got it on my eyes today as well, if you want to know. But um, yeah, not a bad palette for ten dollars. Of course, I'll do tutorials with it so you guys can see how it works. Uh, moving right along to Maybelline, I got one thing from Maybelline, and this is the Fit Me Concealer in number fifteen, number fair, or sorry, number fifteen fair. Um, long dope fill applicator. I'm quite a fan of this. I've used it in the past. It was just a repurchase. Um, and I'm, I'm quite a fan of it. I really have nothing bad to say about it at all. It's really nice. It lasts quite a long time. Um, and yeah, it's not, not a bad concealer. So, and I know a lot of people like it. So definitely has a thumbs up from me. Um, and then a couple of other things that I've really been loving recently is, I seem so enthusiastic about this next product, but um, this is by Rimmel and this is their new lip liner in 63 Eastern Snob. What a nasty name, but I love this. This is so nice. It is a dusty pink shade. It really goes with like everything. It's right there. It is so pretty. It's got a retractable Thing to it. It's really nice. It's creamy. It lasts ages. It's nice. I love it. Nothing bad to say about it whatsoever. Another product that I ended up getting was for um, a girl's makeup who I'm doing for her formal and she really liked the look of this particular lipstick by Astralis. This is the Go Long Longwear Lipstick in the color Preppy. Um, I'm not going to swatch it because it will be hers but um, it's a beautiful light pink shade and 
I've been wearing it a ton, so I like it. Um, also, something that I've recently fallen back in love with is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the color Deep Natural. I hate the packaging, but love the product. Like, it is great stuff. I really, I don't even need to say anything about it because I know a lot of people have raved about it already. So, love that. And then, last brand that I want to talk about is L'Oreal. So, I ended up getting something from their new Skin Perfection range. I got two things. So, I ended up getting their primer, Sarah. Sarah BDX, you my friend, you are the cause of this purchase because it's fabulous and I love you for it. So I got that and also ended up getting their BB cream, which I'm kind of on the fence about, but it's not too bad. This is their BB cream 5-in-1 in the color medium. I'll let you guys know how I go with that one. I'll probably do a tutorial and show you guys what it looks like. Something that I've been loving forever though is the Nude Magique Foundation in 120, which is the lighter shade. It's in the color ivory or pure ivory. This is my non-fake tan shade. I love it. You guys can just watch like my last billion tutorials and that's what I'll be using. So yeah. Um, and then last product that I want to share with you guys is my eyebrow pencil, which is by L'Oreal. Also, this is the Superliner Bra Artist in To Blonde. I have nothing bad to say about this. I love it. So that is everything guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if there's anything that you want to see in a tutorial or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to review anything or do a tutorial on it. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.